you know, what could be better than to have a personal shopper, someone who could collect all sorts of goodies for your card making? Mm, I can think of one thing. How about a personal shopper who would gather together supplies and materials to make no less than 80 different handmade Christmas cards? Different. Ah, mm -hmm. let's take a look. Okay, what might that look like if you had that personal shopper? How about this gigantic <laughs> pile? <laughs> Ta -da! Oh my goodness. Okay, it's I've huge. already reserved one for me and one for my mother. And well, but so wait. We'll probably do more. But wait, not only that, there's the cards and envelopes. So this is an amazing stash. Let's You've got squish that aside. Just tons of just material. Stuff. But let's see what we can do. Okay. Let's take a look at these two cards. Okay, well let's start with this one. So okay. we're getting close. And what the book does for you is it shows you um, all of the instructions as well as the papers and so forth that are, the papers are done in the same sequence as the instructions. Okay, okay. so this is basically like, if you're familiar with our paper flare card kits, it's like that yeah. times. Yeah. <laughs> Although you, no measuring is required, everything is cut, is designed for the instructions. Okay, so you've got instructions yeah. and supplies together to go. And let me show you one page. Okay, so here's one page, mm -hmm. and here's the card that that makes. Let's get in close to that. That is so pretty. And I really like the idea of non traditional Christmas colors, it's, which is something that we talked about yesterday. I like this is beautiful. I like the brown and blue. Mm -hmm. Now, Teresa looked at this, did the same papers, and decided to make a gatefold card. Right, so if you take a look at this, it's a square cut card. It's five inches square. This is the brad that's holding down that flap. So I can just lift this up. Right. And I have a really darling adaptation. And her recommendation is that you can do this technique with almost any card in the kit. So oh, it, definitely. It gives you another option. Absolutely. So this is the card okay. that was done uh, from the kit in following the directions. And here is the sheet that has all of that art together. Okay. Okay, got that? Got that. And let me move in <laughs> Teresa's adaptation, which I think this is darling. Isn't it darling? It's so cute. But you can see it has that same tag that's been layered, mm -hmm. so it's got multiple things. It's got the buttons, it's got the brads, and it's just another look. Love it. How about this guy? Okay. And you have a technique to share with this because this is a water fold envelope. It's a waterfall fold and it requires a four by six green sheet. Oh my goodness, it's already that size. Oh, <laughs> of course it is. You fold it in half, you fold it in half again. Let me make sure that you can see what I'm doing. And then you're going to take the top ones and come into the center. This is such an easy thing to add to any Christmas card, or actually yes. any themed card. And this is, um, Susan Cobb first designed this. Then we do that point, and we bring it down like this. Can you see what I'm doing? Mm -hmm. Okay. Like a little envelope. And then we're going to do this again with another triangle at the top. Keep me, keep me centered there, Sarah. <laughs> another one. And then so when I bring easy. this down, I'm going to, this is the waterfall part. Okay. Gee, that was tough. Now, would I have the instructions for these? Why, you <laughs> would have everything for that. So then this just gets glued down. Right, and, and there I'll bring it this is. in. Yeah. And you can take a look, she's put a strip of paper and then a miniature Brad Buddy, which, ta-da, are in the kit. And you know what, I, have we gone on the inside? All of them have an inside, so we're continuing right. that process Wonderful. too. So, and this has got a mini Brad Buddy in it. Love it. Here's another different color combination. So this is merry and bright using some of the clear Laliques, which right. are included in the kit. And Laliques are tricky to find. Mm. You don't find them everywhere. And inside using some of the coordinating stripe, Very the pretty. sentiment. Here's Teresa's adaptation, which I love. Yes. And she's again used the merry and bright down here. Can you see the Lalique mm -hmm. there? Dang and from that snowflake. you get the glitter too. Uh -huh. So even better. In the personal shopper program and club, shaped cards have been so, so How popular. How darling is People he? love them. Now the thing is, for me as a card maker, I love this idea, but mm -hmm. I do not want to create the design for it. 
Well, and it'd be pretty tough to do, quite honestly. Well, I'm not an artist, so. But Kyla is, and but, she created the sheet for us. <laughs> and each of these uh, gives you the directions, how you line it up along the fold, right. and also the inside. Now, so. what's so nice about this, and this fit, this design will fit all of the cards that right. we included. They're all five by six and a half. Okay. And then to also talk about using the brads on here, yes. you've got a little brad for nose and eyes. His little hand up here, which I think is so cute, cute yes. is up on foam tape. So is his hat. Right. So you've got some dimension. It's not just simply cutting and going. Oh, this got is, you. This is technique based. Speaking of dimension. Yes. Love this. Isn't the flower part cute? Love and this. there's the fold of the card right there. I think that's so cute. And then this is popped up on another piece of the card stock right. that you've cut off. And you get the point setters and you get the brad the, in the pack. The great big brad, right. Here's the sheet that it comes from so you can see pretty quick and easy yeah, to cut out. which is wonderful. Love him in his little stocking. I think that's just He's adorable. just charming. And you know what? I think the original design from this actually was Teresa's. From her, her applique. From her applique, I think it was. Wow. So that little guy loved the bow, Brad, on his How neck. How does the card open? It opens just right along that okay. fold. Very, Very cute, sweet. yes. And there's the there's sheet. There's the sheet. So you can see just how quick and easy this is. Everything is cut, go, and assemble. Yes. And what I like also is every card is different. So you can bring right. them in. Right. So why don't we talk about the <laughs> versatility okay. of this gigantic... Now, this is only half of the pile of cards that we have to show. Yeah, and actually it's not anywhere near the full 80, but just really wanted you to see the variety. So let's get in closer because we'll go through these pretty quickly. But you've got cutaway cards, mm -hmm. fun looks, as well as um, some, and actually let me get this little guy separate because this is my favorite way to use a Brad Buddy. Let's get in closer mm -hmm. because the artwork just nestles right around that reindeer. It's designed to work with the reindeer. I just love it. And inside That's we've got so more information. This, this card. This is really neat. This is a kind of a patchwork effect. It is. But it, you don't have to patchwork it yourself. <laughs> Great. This is all one piece. And then we've got some of the shaped brads down here at the bottom yes. nesting into this. It's cut to be like a, a tag. And you've got room should you want to add a message mm -hmm. or slip a photograph in. Here's another different kind of a shape card. Yeah, I love that one Let too. Let with the felt. A, the felt snowflake on here. And then all of the design is completely done for it you. Is. Here's another look using one of the Brad Buddies, which is included in the pack. Yes. The little, let it snow. I love that there are ribbons also included oh, here tons. because that always adds an extra touch and then looping Happy it. Happy snow day. Here. You know, Paula, one thing that my mother always says is she makes different Christmas cards for all of the people on her Christmas card list. This would be perfect oh. because the, she's always trying to remember what she so, gave to the person the year before. <laughs> so it would be important that they have different feelings so that exactly. she can do the right one for the right person. Look at this fireplace. It's going to open up and then the whole cover opens up right. too. And I like that this is really playful. This is a bit more, uh, I guess, cozy. Yeah, it, a little it, nostalgic. Yeah. I love the eyelash ribbon. It's just perfect to hold those together. Of course, we've got pieces on very the inside. Pretty. This is a little bit more traditional. Let's this get is closer. very traditional Santa. I love the art on him. He's just so rich and jolly. Yeah, he <laughs> is. But this is, again, another example of something being a bit more traditional yes. as opposed to perhaps something. And look at the little um, safety, oh, safety pin up there. Pin. Very That's cute. Look at this. As opposed to something more striking, perhaps wow. more contemporary. And this has a buckle. Look at that. Isn't that a great? So we've got some engineering going on. And Wishing some, you all the gifts. This is really beautiful. Wow. And then moving into perhaps a more contemporary look. Mm -hmm. So you can see the versatility of all of the different styles in here. And that's what's really fun about it. So you, we go from traditional to playful to nostalgic to right. retro. And the wonderful thing is all of the instructions are in. <laughs> so if you're frantically trying to keep up with us flipping through these cards, Look don't worry. <laughs> Look at the brads. The reason why we're going so quick is because that's the wonderful part of it is there's so many different looks and so many um, variety of things. Right. Look at this. The music on I love it, this one. That little uh, cardinal on there is just dear. 
just really, really And again, sweet. all of that color coordinated, theme coordinated, ready to go for you. This is a hand stamped effect. Yes, it is. And I love the fun colors. Yeah, I do too. This one, <laughs> you absolutely surprised me when you told me it was a Mrs. Grossman sticker. It is. It's a laser sticker that celebrated. I thought it was embossed. He oh, embossed. Oh, did you? Mm -hmm. It's just beautiful. Gorgeous.